Hello, hello and welcome to another Affinity Photo Tutorial. This time we are going to restore an old photo. Let's have a quick look at this. As you can see, it has some creases here and also some missing parts of the photo. I think this is due to um, sticking to a piece of paper or sticking into a book or something. As you can see, it's pretty banged up. But we are going to transform this into this and I'm going to show you how. So after the intro, we'll get to work. All right, let's get cracking. First of all, let me open an image here. First one, I'm going to open an image from Susie Hazelwood. I think it's how I pronounce it. And let's restore our first image. Or depending on the gravity, we'll restore the one and only image. Command J to duplicate. Come on. Command J, duplicate the background. Let's get cracking on this. First of all, let me analyze the image and see what we can do. So we can go on these spots and just try to remove them as much as possible. Bring some texture into the image and this bend photo here. There are some marks and I want to remove them and that should be it. I can bring more detail and I'll, I'll show you later how to bring more detail into an older photo. Also I'm going to bring some details here in the face as well here on the hat and I think the uniform as well. So let's do the hard part and just remove this white noise. Let's start from one scratch and if this process will take too long, I'm going to speed up the video so you'll not get too bored. But there you go, this is the life if you want to retouch and restore old photos, especially damaged as this. Right, so let's start. I'll start with selecting my in paint brush tool and I'm going to select a very small brush and I'm going to zoom in as much as possible and just start creating. So I'm going to play with the size of the brush and let's get started. You want to do this bit slowly. You don't want to have a brush too big because that will create a very nasty um, repetition so try to bring us <clears throat> something like this you can see here let me zoom in that you'll start noticing some patterns afterwards and you don't want that so go slowly now before going to speed up this video let me show you quickly the settings that I have. So width, I said I'm going to change it depending on the image, opacity 100%, flow 100%, hardness 80%. And I don't have this enabled for pressure control size. Um, I'm using a tablet, so I'm going to enable it. Stabilizer, no, and the rest is the current layer only. As mode of uh, so um, what the pressure does if you're using a tablet I'm using an Intuos Pro right now so the more you push on the button on the pen the larger the, p the spot will get this is helpful, especially as you can see here, the size is the 
depending the size of the brush is depending on the force that I apply to the pen. So if you don't have a tablet and you want to do this type of work daily, I highly recommend buying one. They're not that expensive right now. I'm as I said I'm using an Intuos Pro. I'm going to put the links in the description if you want to buy one. And they're working on Windows, Mac, Linux. Didn't have any issues with Linux as well. So let's go like this. Right, so try to alternate Right now I'm using the healing brush, healing brush tool, um, and it's working pretty good. I've noticed a bug. Sometimes um, the in paint will not recognize a white spot as an issue and will not remove it at all. So if that happens to you, you can... Um, use this uh, this tool this healing brush tool as you can see it's working relatively good and it's faster so to work with the healing brush tool just click on it hold alt or option and click on the source from where you want to copy the pixels and then go nuts Now here we have some details and I would like to preserve this in the background so I'll do a smaller brush. I'll take the healthy bit from here and just try to ref to be careful. So okay, something like this. Okay, now let's see this is before and this is after. I think it's looking way, way, way better. Let's bring in some details. So I've created a new layer, a new empty layer. Let's see if we can bring in some, 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 some details. Let's do this. So let's bring a uh, few details here I think this is going to be too harsh let's see so what I want to do is you can see just 3% 
actually bring in some details here we can make this smaller of course this helps if you have a tablet it's, uh, something here let's make some depth here I think it was a curtain something like this now you can create multiple layers like this as you can see let's make it bigger if you want to draw something straight you just click here hold the shift go down and repeat you can go wrong here so you can go even more and of course you can change the opacity actually let's do like this and we'll change the opacity later we'll see exactly what we're doing percent let's see before and after so i'll see the difference this is before it's slight difference but it's there so let's create another okay 10 percent and let's redo this bit here so click hold shift click hold shift click hold shift click Okay, something like this, and we can go even create like shadow behind him, something like this to look good. Okay, dokey. Now let's do another thing. Let's take care of the details from the uniform. So let's create a new layer with a smaller brush. And let's zoom in here. Even smaller. Even smaller. So something like this. I want to create the outline of his boots here. Now, for the magic to happen, let's go filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and change the opacity to the pixels to, let's see, and I want something like this, okay, hit apply. Let's just play with the opacity. All right. 
write something like this. Now let's see, before, after, before, and after. Let's rename this. Let's outline uniform. Let's zoom in. All right, so as you can see, even my poorly drawn lines, right now they are way, way better. Of course, you can turn them on and off, but you already see the difference. So let's have do the same thing to the face but here we need to outline a little better so create a new layer double click on the layer and rename it as face outline right so with this brush selected i'm going to change the hardness to something like this and start drawing What I want is face outline, filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Okay. Let's see. Okay, something like this. Actually, more. Even more. Okay. So we're going like this and we are going to play with the opacity. Okay. And there we go, 50% opacity. Let's zoom out and see before and after. So this is before, this is after. Before, after. Think even more we can go don't want to be too obvious something like this 30 percent before after you can see it's already starting to look better so let's completely zoom out move in okay And as I said, it's starting to look better. Let me put these ones in to a folder. So right click, create group. And we can go and see the overall before and after. My, my, thing is looking good. Right, so I think this outline is showing too much. So let's change this to something like this. Just a subtle. Good. Okay, now I've seen. Let's create a new layer 
and I've seen here that we can add more detail to the image create a bigger brush zoom in bigger and just try to bring more details here create some sort of separation in the background like something like this okay here more zoom out let's take the opacity way down and I'm here with the opacity can go down, down for some of them you don't even need to blur them so something like this Cool. Looking better already. Let's see what else we can do here. This staff can create a new layer. Make this very, very small and just go over the staff like this something like this and i don't know for you it's going to be a very short video but for me it's, i'm already working two hours on this so hopefully you will enjoy this okay let's see a before and after this is before and this is after i'm not going to try to colorize this image i'm going to leave it as is now Let's add some adjustment layers. So I'm going to add the levels and make this pop. All right. Something like this. Okay, I think it's too much. Nonetheless, we can otherwise go here and change the opacity. This is too much, but I think it's okay like this. Okay, let's see what else we have here that we can add. Curves. Uh, we can add some curves. Small curve, small S curve. Like this. okay close it let's see before the curve after before after i think it really pops now so hope you enjoyed this tutorial i don't know how long i'm going to make it but please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the like button to tell the youtube masters that this video contained some useful information for you